find, do you have a different approach with the historical fiction as you, do, as you have done with the crime? Do you, is it a different process or is it the same kind of um, I think it, it, it's surprisingly similar and, and it's so much fun doing historical characters because I'm a, like a, a bit of a historical geek and I like to me it's like this incredible world and it's like come with me come look it's amazing in here and, and all those the idea that someone would have a life this historical figure and you can delve into that and, and see the minutiae of their daily existence I, I find really fascinating and, and compelling. And is it would you say that um, obviously you've done you've done the two genres very well is it do you have a favorite and what would you write next if you were going to move on <laughs> oh that's a good question isn't it um i mean i like i like them both for very different reasons i i love that the fact that you, with historical fiction you're creating that you're not i suppose you're, you're you're creating the world a bit more because you you have a bit more license because no one really knows mm. some some of the details you know so you can make things up a little bit more um but that said, it, it slows you down. So it's it's a lot of fun to write contemporary fiction because it's like, you know all that stuff because you've lived it and, and suddenly, oof, you know, like 10 pages have gone and, and it's been so easy and you haven't had to stop and kind of just double check that they had wheat back then in that form or something or that kind of, yeah, there's lots of sort of small details like that that you just have to, to check. Um, well, it's a really good question. I mean, I, I would probably put them on a part. I think at the moment I'm doing, I am doing a, um, a, another contemporary one currently, and I suppose after that I will probably do a historical one, so I'll probably switch back and forth. Yeah, depending on what I'm doing.